Uganda is a tourist hub. National game parks, reserves, tropical forests and waterfalls. But there are fears that tourist numbers could drop due to Uganda's anti-homosexuality legislation. It's mainly the people from the West who are um, bothered about this, but also mainly because they're not actually informed on what's happening on the ground. They don't, the, the, the information going out is not exactly uh, a, a right portrayal of what is happening uh, on the ground. Uganda was declared one of the 20 top global tourist destinations in 2013 by National Geographic. And according to the Uganda Tourism Board, earnings from tourism have increased from 200 million US dollars in 2004 to over 1 billion US dollars in 2013. Sudan's finance minister is warning the anti gay legislation could hurt Uganda's foreign exchange earnings. I think this is a, uh, a situation that is, is creating a reputational risk uh, of the perception of, of what Uganda is, particularly if we're talking about areas like tourism, I think this is a, is a, is a major factor. According to the tourism ministry, Uganda received over one million tourists in 2012. A big percentage of these came from western countries. Tourism authorities say they will not fight the government or the anti-gay law but we now focus on attracting visitors from other countries. Now we also think that we should actually focus on some of those states that seemingly appreciate our position in these matters, but also going forward, focus largely on domestic and regional tourism to get Africans appreciating to come within, travel within Africa. But travelers from the West may need reassurance. Two operators in Uganda say they have not got any cancellations from any tourists yet. But they say more inquiries on the safety of tourists keep streaming in. But tourism authorities say they are laying strategies to counter any possible drop in tourist numbers. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.